To be honest, I'm really not a fan of Bebby the Clown. Like it all. I don't have anything against clowns, but there's a reason I did almost every other boss before doing the S-Rank guide for him. It's not that he's hard, but you can find yourself in some spots where you're guaranteed to take damage if you're not paying attention. So, as you know, in order to S-Rank Bebby, you need to beat it in less than two minutes, you need to parry three times, you need to finish the boss with three health, you need to use six bars of super, and you need to play on expert level. For weapons, use spread and any ranged weapon you want. Make sure the ranged weapon is your primary weapon because you're going to be using that first. Next, take Super 2, which is Invincibility, and Smoke Bomb. I'll explain why later. So in the first phase, the number one most important thing is to keep your distance. Beppy will keep scooting back and forth in his little car, and it can be unclear how close he'll actually get to you before he charges forward. Make sure to jump every now and then to knock out the ducks as soon as they come out. When he charges at you, uh, jump, then dash to make sure you clear the car completely. Okay, the second phase is the most important phase. Remember, you need three parries to get the S rank, and it's easiest to get them here. Why? Because the roller coaster nose does count towards the S rank. Uh, usually when I'm focusing the boss, I get around two parries off the roller coaster nose. That means you just have to parry one balloon in this phase to get the three you need for the S rank. Easy enough. One thing to remember is that the balloons will spawn from the four holes in the pipe on the left and right sides of the screen. The worst case scenario is if one of these balloons spawns right into you when you're trying to dodge the roller coaster, so try to stay near the middle of the screen whenever possible. Also, before you forget, just use a bar of super. Doesn't matter if you hit anything or not, just use it now, trust me. The third phase is where the boss starts getting really annoying. He'll either spawn from the right or the left with either a green horse or a yellow horse. The green horse means he'll shoot horseshoes that have a wavy pattern, and the yellow horse means he'll shoot them in a line and then they'll all drop from the top of the screen. It's really tempting to stay directly underneath the boss and shoot up directly into him with spread shot, but the problem is that roller coaster. For myself, I see under the horse and shoot him until I see the roller coaster pass by in the background, then I try to return to the center of the screen. Here's where the smoke bomb comes in. Let me show you an example. Okay, okay, pause, pause, pause. The roller coaster is closing in, and the yellow horse has shot a row of horseshoes above my head. If I try to jump out now, I'm probably going to get hit by a horseshoe above me. What do I do? Tell me, what do I do? What I do is wait until the horseshoes pass by, and then the last moment, parry the nose of the roller coaster, and then smoke bomb before I get high enough to be hit by the horseshoes. Then I just make my way to the gap in the horseshoes, and then I've cleared this incredibly tricky setup. This sort of thing is why I don't like Bevy the Clown. These situations can absolutely catch you unaware if you're not paying attention. Finally, this last phase looks intimidating, but with invincibility, it actually becomes kind of a cakewalk. Your super meter should be fully charged, but don't use it just yet. Switch to your spread shot and stick close to the boss until he starts summoning penguins. Before that first baseball gets too close to you, activate your invincibility super. Drop to the floor and start blasting. Ignore the penguins because they're going to die anyways when the roller coaster comes back around. Uh, while you're doing this, keep an eye on the bottom left of your screen to check how much longer your invincibility will last. When you're on that last card, jump back onto the moving platforms, the roller coasters will have taken out the penguins, and the boss will probably die within seconds. Congratulations, easy S rank.